Ah, nothing like truly raspberry tea heart seltzer. I think the measure of a man is not if he could drink whiskey, but if he could drink raspberry tea hard seltzer. You know what else you should drink? Card tricks, like this one. Today we're gonna be using these Bin Wang Gang, boys. Bin Wang Gang playing cards. And we're not gonna need the whole deck. We're only gonna need uh, one card. Uh. We're actually gonna just make use of one card, one card in particular. Could you tell my virginity knows no bounds? Because we're gonna be making use of a uh, through the fist flourish. I'm sure you're familiar with this particular technique where you take a card and you just uh, push it through your fist, much like the name suggests. But here's the thing about these hands, boys, is that it acts as a magic tunnel. That's right, so I could take, in this case, the uh, seven of clubs and pass it through the fist, just like this, and the card changes color into the eight of diamonds. What a trick. Hey there, friends. This episode is, of course, sponsored by the Pig Cake Magic Account. Don't skip it. I saw you almost skip it there. This is brought to you by the Pig Cake Magic Academy, where I post two videos every single week going over card and coin stuff. By joining the Academy, you also get access to the Piggybacker tier of videos, which is two additional tutorials that I don't post anywhere else, bringing the grand total of videos you get per week to four. And if you join the Mentalism Academy, that's an additional video, bringing that grand total up to what? That's right, five videos you get every single week going over every aspect of magic. I think it's a bargain. You get access to over 700 videos there currently, I believe, immediately the moment you sign up. You should do it right now. Go ahead, stop the video, and go ahead and sign up. But apart from that, here's the through the fist color change. Now, too many times I've seen this particular action done as a way of secretly revolving a packet. So you've seen it done where, for example, you have two cards that are back to back and you do the move, right? But then when you want to turn the packet over, you just actually execute the move by turning the hand over. And I think it's a terrible move to begin with. I believe it's called the through the fist flourish. Uh, there's in lieu of the through the fist flourish. There's a lot of different variations of this particular movement, but I think it's kind of trash. You might see this done as a printing method where you're printing your business cards by typing on the back of your hand, really terrible things like that. But you could actually use this as a color change. Now this is gonna make use of a palm, which is a little bit, I would say not traditional because it's the longitudinal Tenkai palm. I apologize to any would be normal people that stumbled upon this video and uh, don't understand what it is that I'm talking about. But for the rest of you virgins, you guys are familiar with this palm over here known as the Tenkai palm. This is making use of a longitudinal Tenkai palm. And the reason for that is because it's gonna allow you to actually carry on the action of the through the fist flourish and still maintain the card in this particular position, which is, uh, I would guess, against the hand. So right now it doesn't look like I could be hiding any card, but really I'm hiding a card here, baby. Now this is of course way more angle sensitive than the traditional Tenkai Palm, but it does have, I think, more uses than the traditional Tenkai Palm. So this is gonna make use of the longitudinal Tenkai Palm as such. So this is how you're gonna get into that position. So you're gonna hold the card in your right hand. Remember, this is two cards. I think that should go without saying. You guys are virgin enough to know that this is just two cards. You're gonna hold the cards like this. You're gonna mind any gaps between the fingers because for me, I happen to have a very nice gap there where you could see a window. I could practically have relations with that gap. But if I do that and don't mind the gap, you see what happens? Look, you're gonna see a little bit of a movement there. So you make sure that you uh, mind your gaps here. You press your fingers close together. Now what's gonna happen is that in transferring this card to the other hand, I'm actually gonna use my fingertips to push and bevel the cards almost 90 degrees. Now what's gonna happen is that this particular part of the card, so this part of the card, is gonna come in contact with the base of my pinky. Now at the same time, notice that I'm putting pressure with my thumb of the right hand. Magically, that card's gonna return to my hand. Fuck. Yeah, talk about TV editing magic, right? So that card is gonna come in contact with the base of the pinky and the thumb is putting pressure. Now, when you take the card in the other hand, right now, you're gonna be in the perfect position to do this particular flourish. So obviously you've set them up by doing the through the fist flourish previously with two cards. This is just a simple fact of holding the card by the long end like this and pushing with my thumb. That's all that's taking place. 
Now, if I do that with a double card, it could actually pass off as a single card as I just get him used to this particular gesture. So after I've transferred the card to a longitudinal Tenkai position, I'm gonna take the card and just hold it between my thumb and the fingers of the left hand. Now at this point, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna come and I'm gonna cover the card entirely until it's square with the card that's in longitudinal Tenkai palm. And if you've noticed, that's gonna put you in the perfect position if I squeeze my fingers, if I press my fingers like this, to execute the through the fist flourish. Now, one thing that you're gonna to have to mind is that you're gonna to have to make sure that that card is perfectly square. So that when that card goes through the fist, you have effectively done a color change. So one more time, you're gonna move the card until it's coming in contact with the base of the pinky. At the same time, you're gonna pinch this card between the thumb and the rest of the fingers. You're gonna bring your hand in and you're gonna squeeze these two cards together. So this is what the action looks like from the behind the scenes perspective. Now, of course, you wanna make sure that you're using some sort of a good finish on the cards. These bin wangs are the equivalent of, um, I don't know, uh, a lesbian's back. So they're kind of rough to work with. But if you have linen finish or any sort of air cushion finish, the cards are gonna glide together smoothly. So when I transfer that card to that position and I hold it like this, this is all that's taking place, just this. That's all that's taking place underneath the hand right there. You see that? So if you want, you could add a little bit of a revolution spin at the end. This is uh, very similar. As a matter of fact, it's the exact same thing as the uh, traditional revolution cut, but was just holding two cards here just to add the illusion of singularity. So whatever single moves you want to do here to just uh, show that card as one. But all in all, I do think that it's a visual color change and it makes use of that through the fist flourish uh, to use to actually mean something. Usually it's uh, just a meaningless move to turn over a packet of cards, but here it's used to uh, change the color of a card. Mm. Oh yeah, boys. If you use this move on Instagram, make sure to tag your boy at PickCake69. 69 because PickCake 1 through 68 were taken. So uh, 69 was conveniently not taken. Um, but apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a tutorial. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. As I've been stuck on 50k subscribers for approximately one year. So make sure to subscribe. I'm going to go figure out different ways to use... Hard seltzer to find my father. I recorded a podcast recently of slights and men. It's a nice little bit to uh, Brit British, British chaps that recorded it were very nice, very cordial. We had a nice spirited conversation about carrying playing cards on you. They have a nice website that I'm gonna link in the description below. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't know when my episode is gonna go up. I'm sure I'll keep you guys posted. But they have a nice little bit of a mailing list that you could join. It's free to join. You get a bunch of books when you sign up. I suggest you join it. They're very nice. They deserve um, all, all of the attention that they could possibly get from a shout out in a pig cake video. So make sure to check those, those boys out. Look at this, there's a bug on my thing there. Now it's dead. Of Slights and Men, go ahead, check it out. I think apart from that, uh, boy, seems a good time to just press the, <laughs> press the up next button, right? Not gonna do much here, I don't think. So 